Hi, I'm Deanna from the Hat Creek Candle Company. This is our finished pecan pie, and today I'm going to take you through the steps on how we make our candle pies. This is the first step in the pie making process. I'm going to be making the crust. I have my pan prepared with some special spices that we use and our wax formula, and I just pour it on the pan and um, try not to get the spices to move around too much so I'm going to go as slowly and as I possibly can so that um, each crust has the right amount of spices and color in them. is a little crooked today so I'm adjusting my pan and I'm going to let this sit for about a half an hour before I can cut out my wax dough and make my crust. After my crust is set up I now cut out my pieces to make my crust on my pans. So I gently lift up my crust piece. And then just like a real pie, I'm going to wrap my wax crust around the tin. just like a real pie crust. Now that our crusts have set up, the next step is putting the wicks in our pies. We use two wicks and we just use a simple glue gun and our little poker um, to basically set the wicks in place and hold them there. Um, so like I said, just simple little glue on the bottom of the wick and place them in our pans. Now that the wicks have been set in place, I am quickly going through and straightening the wicks up before I pour our pecan pie um, fragrance into our tins. And in my container here, I have our special blend of um, our fragrance. And I just pour to the tip of the crust so that everything holds together. We are now doing the finishing of the pecan pies that were made yesterday. I will now be putting our little pecan pieces around the top of the pie. And then we'll be finishing with our pecan gel glaze um, to just give it that final little homemade touch.
final step is the finishing of our pies for packaging. I take my finished pie and I'm going to clip our wicks and just look over the crust and make sure that we don't have any goop anywhere on here so that it burns nice for us. I check the bottom so I can put our sticker and our flavor on. And then we package it.